to another wonderful edition of Fats Cafe Coach's Corner. I'm your host, Maddie Campanella, and we are here today with softball coach Jerry Snyder. How are you doing today? Doing well. How about you? I'm doing great. So wonderful to have you here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so Sarah Montai was the first all-team conference honoree. That was the first time she's been honored by the league in four years. Did you expect her to be this type of player? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, in all reality, uh, the conference coaches finally got it right. After four years, they got it right. I mean, she's been an all-conference yeah. outfielder the whole time she's been here. I mean, yeah. she's she could be arguably the best outfielder to ever play at USC Aiken. And, well, and I know we all the, enjoy watching her. Well, sure, yeah. sure. And one of the top ten in, to ever play in the conference. So, yeah, I mean, it was... It was well expected. It was expected last year and the year before and the year before that, yeah. and it didn't come. So, uh, very happy for her. She's a very good yeah. young woman and very deserving. So. Yeah, we're all definitely super proud of you, Sarah. <laughs> in the PBC quarterfinals, you faced Armstrong State. After they scored two in the bottom of the six, what did you think heading into what a, what could have been um, your last at bat of the season? Well. You know, I never look at it that way. Yeah. I mean, and you can ask our kids that uh, my frame of mind is always the game is never over. Right. Till the last out is called. I look at the game as, you, you know, when you start it, you got mm -hmm. 21 outs to work with. Right. Now, how many runs can we score in those 21 outs? Yeah, I take it take so, step right, by step. Right, right. Step by step, you know. And and in that game, you know, if, if you watched it, you could see. We were, we were starting to, you know, to put the metal on the ball. Mm -hmm. And we were starting to get some good sharp hits. Unluckily, they're right at people. But, yeah. you know, if you continue to do that, sooner or later, you know, the odds are going to be with you and Definitely. they're going to start falling. Definitely. And that's what happened. So. Okay, that's so great to hear. In 2014, Ashley Metz hit a one-out homer to tie North Georgia in the PBC quarterfinals. This year, Andrea Daring hit a one-out homer to tie with the Pirates. Um, do you think this coincidence or destiny <laughs> at this point in time? Well, I'm supposed to say it was the softball gods looking out for us. <laughs> um, that is a quote from who? Yeah, that is a quote from Sarah Monti. <laughs> but I, to be honest, it's, you know, it, it didn't have to be Andrea. Yeah. It could have been Sam. It could, you know, it could have been Sydney Kate. It yeah. could have been Sarah. I mean, it could have been anybody in that lineup to come up there and mm -hmm. get that. I mean, again, we had been swinging the bat so good, yeah, making such good contact, but just weren't getting, having the luck with having them fall. Right. And uh, just you, you had to, you had to have that feeling that you know it's coming. And mm -hmm. for some, some reason, I mean, you know, I had a feeling in both those games uh, that uh, there was no way we weren't going to win. Yeah. So. So Armstrong State had a unique play at the bottom of the seventh um, to put two runners in scoring positions. Did you have any doubt? I mean, can you take us through that about how the how that was run? The you're talking about the fake walk. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean that's what I argued uh, yeah. was that you can't you can't use a misleading play. Yeah. Like that's against the rules. Of course, the umpire said it wasn't. That and basically the girl will have a two and two count. Right. She gets ball three. She takes off running, thinking she has ball four. Mm -hmm. And the base runners start walking, advancing the base up. Right. And you know it just shocks everybody at at first. And you know of course on the signs we're yelling throw to three, right. throw to three. Yeah. You know tag her out. She'll mm -hmm. be out. And when we didn't get that done, so I thought, well, you know, uh, the only thing I have left is go yeah. up and argue it to say, mm -hmm. hey, she, you know, she did that on tension. Right. You know, that was intentionally a misleading play. Uh -huh. And she shouldn't be allowed to do that. Yeah. She should have to come back. It'd be ball three. Base runners go back to where they were. Okay. So, but it didn't hurt us. Okay, well, that's definitely great to hear. Can you take us through the eighth inning of the quarterfinals? Once we got the lead, did you have any doubt on us advancing to go to the next? No. No. No, Not no. At all. No, I mean, here, here, here's the thing in sports. And, you know, I've, I've been doing this for 30 years. This is my 30th year. Wow. And I have seen it so many times that you have to get our old buddy 
Mr. Momentum. <laughs> Definitely. Mr. Momentum has to come over. You gotta and, keep and, rolling. Yeah, they, he you has to come, come out. He or she has to come over and sit in your dugout. Mm -hmm. And at that time, we had the whole Momentum family with us. So I knew there was no way, you know, that game was, that game was in the back. Yeah, definitely. Now we're moving on. So in the semifinals, you faced Young Harris, leading 3-1. Mm -hmm. to one. Mm -hmm. Chandler Terrapin crushed a pitch for a grand slam. How big was that for your team? Oh, super big. Super big. I mean, that kind of puts it out of reach. Yeah. You know, when you're sitting there and you're up two or three runs, four right. sometimes, and it's early in a ball game. It could it, definitely yeah, go it can switch. Way, I yeah, mean, easily. a team can chip away, chip away. You have one bad inning. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, you know you've got a one run You're lead. Underwater. And yeah. and when you when you notch four up on the board real fast like that, I mean that is such a good kick. That's gotta and be again, exciting for your girls too. Right. And again, that brought the whole confidence. momentum family right. over confidence to us. Up. And you know there was there was no looking back there. I mean we we were not going to be caught there, and you know the Chandler. That's a funny story anyway because <laughs> Chandler has pitched all year. Yeah. Um, she when she got recruited out of high school, she went to Western Carolina mm -hmm. as a pitcher. Uh, they changed pitching coaches up there. The pitching coach and Chandler didn't see eye to eye. Yeah. So they ended up playing in right field, mm -hmm. which she hated, <laughs> and she ended up dropping out of school then, you know, coming home that summer, not going back. Yeah. And, you know, took a couple years off and, you know, showed the interest to come back. Yeah. And I know what kind of player she is. I know mm -hmm. what, you know, what kind of young lady she is and what a great family she comes from. And I said, hey, I'll take a chance on you because she yeah. had to come in here and set out a year. Right. I'll come in. I'll give you a scholarship for that year you have to set out. Yeah. Because, you know, I think you're a great player. You deserve a second chance. And we just got thinking, you know, she's one of the better batters. Mm -hmm. We go into this tournament, we wanted to go in with our best hitting lineup, yeah. no matter what. So that's kind of why you've seen Chandler in right field and, yeah. uh, you know, a, a, a couple other just little changes that we made in the lineup and yeah. worked out good. It makes Sometimes it makes that's great. coaches look like geniuses mm -hmm. when we're not. <laughs> So after Young Harris pulled within seven to three, were you concerned at all about this? No. No, not at all. No, that that was one that I really wasn't. I mean, we were hitting the ball so well mm -hmm. at that time. I mean, every inning we were threatening. Yeah. And when I say threatening, we were getting runners to second base. Right. You know, that's considered official scoring position. Definitely. And we're we're doing that every every inning. I mm -hmm. mean, we're getting people over there. So we're threatening every inning and, yeah. and we're holding them down. Definitely. You know, they're not really doing anything with us. And so it just, right. it was, it was an easier feel for that game than the Armstrong game Definitely. for some awesome. reason. And both teams are very, very good. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, one thing I want anybody that sees this interview, I want them to go away with, you know, the teams that, that, that we beat are really, really good teams. Yeah. They I mean, you had both of those teams had been ranked in the top 25 during the year. Yeah. They were both ranked above us in the region, both ranked above us in, in yeah. the conference. That's definitely got to be so. a confident booster for your girls mm -hmm. as well to just know that going into that game. Um, and so in the seventh, your team hit a pair of two-run homers. Sydney K. Murphy crushed one over the net behind the fencing while Taylor Morgan hit the hardest ball she's touched all season. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you think was more impressive in there? Well, they both had, <laughs> they both had different attributes. With uh, Sydney Cates, we had runner on first, yeah, no outs. So I, I'm trying to bunt her. Yeah. So I'm calling for a bunt. Right. right. You know, let's get another run in. She has some other in. ideas in mind. And she, uh, no, nah, she, she just, for whatever reason, she didn't get it down. She pulled back. It was a strike. Right. So I gave her the bunt sign again. I said, come on, you know, right. let's. Now when she fouled off, so, you know, you don't bump two strikes unless, right. you, unless you're kind of a moron. So, you know, I, I'm not. So, <laughs> I said, swing away, next pitch, crack yeah. over the fence. And oh, my God. And when she come around, I said, weren't you glad I didn't tell you to bump? <laughs> yeah, really, though. But then you had Taylor's, who just, she hadn't been hitting real well. She hits in spurts. I know she hadn't hit for most of the season. Yeah. You know, we hit for her when she pitched. Mm -hmm. um, then we brought her in as a pinch hitter. She hit a home run. You know, I uh, 
That's four awesome. or five weeks ago. So we said, well, hey, let's keep her in the lineup. I mean, she's a senior. Right. Give her a little bit of do. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, she hit over the retaining net. So I mean, that's probably the longest ball she's ever hit. That's awesome. That's awesome. So moving on to the PBC championship, talk to us a little about a little bit about the run to the PBC championship. Was it um, the first time a seven seed ever made it? What does this say about how amazing of a run this was? That, for your team? I mean that. Yeah, I mean, from what, everything I've read and heard, it's the first time a 7C has ever went to the championship game. Yeah. Um, but it wouldn't have mattered what seed we were. Right. I mean, we could have been the 30th seed. We were still going to be in that championship game yeah. the way we were playing. And, uh, you know, I, I, it, the rule was set the way the rule was set. Mm -hmm. But I, I really would have liked to have finished my game against Young Harris on Saturday. Went back to the hotel, you know, cleaned up when yeah. I got some to eat, spent the night, got up on Sunday, yeah. and had a one o'clock, two o'clock championship game. Yeah. I think we would have benefited from that. Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, both teams played after playing a game. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, you know, it would have allowed us to let Taylor get the rest she needed right. to come back out and throw. I mean, she's, she's had some arm problems the uh, yeah. last season and a half. And, yeah. you know, it's hard for her to go mm -hmm. two straight games. So yeah. I think it would have, I would have liked to seen, you know, what would have happened there. I, you know, right. Um, of course, me as the coach of the Pacers, I'm going to say we would have won. Of course. And, go Pacers. Uh, yeah, go Pacers. Go exactly Pacers. right. <laughs> and, uh, but you never know, and we never will know. Right. So I think that's, one thing that needed to be addressed, uh, we went out for the first couple innings, mm -hmm. and I mean, you know, just like the whole weekend went, we went out and fought and fought and tooth and nail. And, you know, once I think once your pitcher has to come out, yeah, who's been who's been really, you know, carrying you on the mound, yeah, once she comes out, that momentum family. Kind of went to over, yeah, went over to the North Georgia dugout, yeah, and and, and took up residency, and uh, we ne we never got him back to visit us, and yeah. uh, so you know, which was, it was too bad. I mean, I, I you know, yeah, but I tried to tell the you know the girls, please, please keep your head up high. Yeah. I mean, you had just had a terrific weekend. Oh my gosh, you yes. did some things that nobody else has done. Yeah, I mean, you beat two really really good ball teams yeah and you pretty much have solidified yourself into the regional Definitely. And, and that's what our goal is Definitely. at the start of the year yeah. you know our goal was not really hey win the peach belt win the peach belt right. tournament our goal is to get into postseason play yeah get into the regions because ultimately we want to win a national championship Definitely. here and you have to make it to the regionals mm -hmm. to do that and if you're if you're making it to the regionals the other two things usually how you know they happen. They come with it. Yeah, you yeah. win the conference, or you're right there. Right. You know, where you win the conference championship, or you're right there, like uh, and then you get in the regions and you win that. And you go super regionals and win that one. And you go to the World Series, and you know yeah. it's four games, and you're a national mm -hmm. champ. Wow, y'all just have had such an amazing. amazing it's been a roller coaster yeah. ride. It's, roller it coaster has. ride. It is. So. I mean, so, you know, you go one week and, you know, you drop a game of games that you're not supposed to drop. Right. And then you turn around and, you. And, you, and you sweep somebody that was ranked expected. in the country. Yeah. There's no way you should as well. Definitely. So, it's a great team. Yeah. They're fun to watch. They're exciting. Right. There is no give up in them. Yeah. I'll say that. And, you know, our, our motto has been family since day one. Oh, my gosh. You can definitely tell yeah. that, too. Like, yeah. they're all real close to yeah. And we, it's wonderful uh, to watch. you know, we make sure that each other, you know, that, that we know we love each other. Yeah. And that we're not going out on that field without each other's back. Definitely. And, you know, we're, we're you know, we're not going to be there to point a finger. Right. We're going to be there to put a pat on the back. Of so. course, of course. Taylor Morgan, Chandler Terrapin, and Megan Jean Thurr were all named um, all tournament team. How mm -hmm. good was that for them to be recognized during this? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. I mean, it would have been Definitely. an injustice if they weren't. Of course. In all reality, there was a couple other names that should have been on there, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's it, some of that stuff is split up to say, okay, 
first place team gets four names. Right. Second place team gets Definitely. three names. Yeah, you know, right down the line because, you know, you could say a lot for Andrea. Mm -hmm. I mean, she had an absolutely, you know, monster game there. Um, right. You know, Sarah Monti uh -huh. had a monster game and just come off of when, you know, all conference. Right. So, you know, there was, there was some other players there that uh, didn't get the award. But I'm hoping, and I, and I feel this way, I can't answer for them. Yeah. But I hope that they overlook the fact that they win that all-conference award or that mm -hmm. all-tournament team award. That the award they look at is what the award the team won. Right. And I think they do. Definitely. I know I do. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, you know, well. a coach of the, of the year or, or, you know, how many victories you have and, and all that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, it, you know, it's good, uh, you know, I'm thankful for it, but that's not what it is for me. Right. It's it's the win, you know, Definitely. I want to win. Of and course. I hate to lose. Right, we all, we all do. <laughs> <laughs> Last week in the NCAA region rankings, your team was number eight. This week, your, your team jumped to number five. How do you feel while having to wait on the other two conferences right. in the region to still play their tournament? Well... At the start of the week, pins and needles. I mean, I wouldn't talk yeah. to anybody about it. Yeah. You know, I didn't want to talk about it. And everybody's, oh, well, you're going to jump so-and-so, yeah. and, and you'll jump this team, and you should mm -hmm. jump this team, and you should. Keyword, should. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can't take should to the bank. Right. Because so, anything can happen there. Anything, anything can happen. Anything. Just like we were you're exactly about. right. So when it came out and we were fifth, that floored me. Yeah. I, I, I had I didn't have fifth on my mind at all. Yeah. I thought sixth for sure. Okay. In my figuring and from being on the all region <laughs> committee, the region yeah. selection committee prior to that, I knew from what it was gonna look like the week that they looked at everybody's scores. Yeah. And the fact that we went in there and, you know, we knocked off two top ten region right. teams. Yeah. Two teams that are a top 25 in the country. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we we knock those teams off. Right. And there's all kind of, when when they get, that selection committee looks at a team, they're broke down in all these columns of different mm -hmm. things. Um, and, and those are things they look at. Right. And, you know, how, how you did your last 10 games mm -hmm. and, and what you did there. I knew we would we would jump Francis Marion. Yeah. I mean, that was... That was going to be the given, mm -hmm. but I just I didn't know if we had if that was going to be enough to jump us over Young Harris to get to six, mm -hmm. and at, at seven you're going to sit there and I mean chew your fingernails down to the quip because right. you know that is definitely not the place to be right. with what's going on. Of course, of course. Yeah, you, yeah. Two conferences that are playing Still haven't played for yet, their yeah. automatic bid. Right. And, you know, so we know the Carolinas, they're going to get their bid. Yeah. And their bid's probably going to be come sliding in there at about seven. Okay. or I mean, at eight. And that's the norm, coming in at eight. Well, then you have Catawba and Lenore Ryan in the sack. Yeah. Now, if somebody else comes through and wins that tournament, mm -hmm. they get that automatic bid. Yeah. And if Catawba and, and Lenore Ryan didn't do so bad, they're probably going to stay up in there. Mm-hmm. And that team is going to come in and, and, and be in that seventh spot, the new team. Yeah. So there's a lot of things to look at, a lot of numbers. Um, I mean, I love yeah. being five. The higher you are, I, I think, you know, that's more of a feather in your cap. Yeah, so what are you expecting going into regionals as number five? Well, what are you expecting to face? Really, I'm expecting to go in at six. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think there, there's going to be some things happen this weekend. It's going to drop us to six. I okay. like six. Mm -hmm. um, I think the the road to the super regional would be a little bit easier. Oh, and I'm, you know, I, I'm talking about when I say easier, it's if you're on a road that you got to walk across, it's on fire. Yeah. You got no shoes on. Okay, they're going to make it easier by putting a pair of sandals on you. So. Right. That's what I'm saying. Okay. It's not that much easier. Right. But, you know, two, mm -hmm. two will play seven and three will play six. Okay. Instead of one and eight and four and five. Yeah. So what are you going to be working on most with your girls? These Hitting. Things? 
hitting going into it. Definitely <laughs> hitting. I mean, that's what's carrying yeah. us. I mean, you look at it, you look at the home runs that we're producing here in the last, you know, fourth of the season, right. the grand slams, the, uh-huh. you know, people getting on bases and, yeah. and all that stuff. Just continue doing what we're doing. We're not going to go out there and try to teach a bunch of stuff. Right. They know That's it. That's not the time. No. Not the time. No, you've, you've played 40, 50 games. Right. They know it. Now it's just time to keep the rust off. Mm-hmm. You know, stay in a little bit, of, uh, you know, a little bit of the shape that you're yep. in. Stay calm. And take get it calm, one step get at Get excited. Time. Right now, I want them to focus on their finals. Yeah. You know, I, I want them to hit home runs in those classrooms mm-hmm. right now. And then, you know, we'll worry about hitting them on the field when that time comes. Definitely. So. Well, I wish you and your team the best of luck going into Thank the regionals. Thank you so much. No problem. Um, that's been another edition of Fats Cafe Coach's Corner. Join us next time. Thanks. Go Pacers. Go Pacers.